Hey bitches, it's me Pallavi, and this week on Dirty Science, we're talking about menstrual synchrony, period pals, alpha Amazon, uterine unity, egg equity, pulling into ovulation station, honk honk. <laughs> The menstrual cycle is the process through which a woman's body goes through each month in order to prepare for a potential pregnancy. Typical menstrual cycles are about 28 days long, but each woman is different. The cycles can even change each month. A cycle is considered regular if your period comes between every 24 to 38 days, or every 21 to 35 days depending on the source you use for your science web series. I don't know, each bitch is different. Stop asking us why our underwear keeps getting dirty. This shit is hard to predict. As the Mayo Clinic states, your cycle might be regular, about the same length each month, or somewhat irregular. And your period might be light or heavy, painful or pain-free, long or short, and still considered normal. Within a broad range, normal is what's normal for you. Like men's penises. Isn't that something we can bond over, guys? But my last girlfriend never got this upset when she was waiting for her period to visit. No! Stop comparing, bitches! We're all different. I am now your last girlfriend because you did this. You're no longer allowed to have any more girlfriends. Those are the rules. Keeping in mind these differences in a woman's cycle, a typical period lasts between two to seven days. And these two to seven days are what we're going to be discussing now. An article was published in 1971 in the renowned scientific publication, Nature. In this study, Martha McClintock hypothesized that social interaction could be responsible for affecting menstrual cycles. She looked at her undergraduate students who lived together in an all-female dorm and observed some synchrony between their periods, which wasn't creepy at all. She tested this hypothesis by then speaking to 135 college women and found that one close group of friends had periods that differed only by 4.6 days as opposed to the average of 6.4 days. This is why people now call the idea of period synchrony the McClintock effect. I'm not like the other girls. Period synchrony is named after me. And after McClintock, there were several papers published that supported this hypothesis. At the same time that these studies were published supporting this hypothesis, several other studies were published saying that this was not true, that there is no such thing as period synchrony. More recent studies on chimpanzees, hamsters, mandrills, and tamarins have shown that there is no such thing as synchrony. What's most interesting about these studies is that I have no idea what a mandrel or a tamarin is. Mandrel sounds like a fruit. Tam tamarin's like an, it's like tamarind rice, tamarind sauce. Is that vegetarian? Leonard and Aaron Weller, a father-son research team at Bar Ilan University in Israel, did the most studies on humans regarding this subject. They looked at women who interacted with other women through all sorts of relationships in the 1990s. They sometimes found synchrony and at other times didn't. Stop trying to make the McClintock effect a thing. It's not a thing. What was most remarkable about this was that a father-son research team was studying women's periods. Miracles really do happen. In 1992, H. Clyde Wilson reanalyzed McClintock's original study as well as some others, and he found some inconsistencies. The period start dates weren't accurate, and he found other flaws in the methods. Once he corrected for these, he found no synchrony in the results. McClintock's former colleague, Jeffrey Shank, a UC Davis psychologist and math modeler, just making some math until a house explodes, found in a highly rigorous rodent pheromone study, the two pheromones that control the start and stop dates of ovulation did not push synchrony. He later co-authored a paper in Human Nature in which 186 Chinese college student women who lived in a dorm together were studied for a full year. He found no evidence for the McClintock effect, so he concluded that periods randomly overlap. There have been more studies from McClintock and Yokohama City University in Japan that found that women who inhale compounds released by other women who are having their period Okay, by other compounds we mean pheromones, not other things. Don't be out here bottling your period blood and selling it like Gamer Girl bath water. Had different effects on the frequency of luteinizing hormone release. Luteinizing hormone affects the start and stop of the menstrual cycle. Do I know how luteinizing hormone is pronounced? No. Did you believe me? Also, maybe no, I don't know. In other words, they found that those who smelt it, felt it. But this brings us to another question of do pheromones even really exist in humans? Pheromones are described broadly by scientists as chemical signals that when released by one member of a species affects another member of that species. Scientists aren't sure of their effect or existence in humans. Bet y'all didn't think I could produce that Shyamalanian twist. 
Bet y'all didn't think I could pronounce Chamalanian. I don't even know if I'm doing that right. Anyways, I'll probably do another full episode on the existence of pheromones, but if you're spending your money on pheromone perfume now, maybe you wanna save it for, I don't know, improving your personality. Okay, so in conclusion, studies have not confirmed through significant detailed reproducible research that this alpha female synchrony with our periods is a thing. Period. So what does that mean for you? Still buy your bitches chocolate, even if they're not on their period. We deserve it. <laughs> Fun fact, while I was researching this, I found on womenshealth.gov that they chose to measure the amount of period blood that you lose every month in tablespoons. Which, because I'm a feminist and love women, is not a disgusting way to picture blood at all. <laughs> tablespoons of blood, delicious. It's normal. I'm not sexist, you're sexist. <laughs> I love measuring all my blood in kitchenware. <laughs>